Hello and welcome to the Quinton Group.tv. And yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton. So, um, you know, my team and I have been talking to a lot of clients and uh, mostly the clients we've been talking to, or a lot of them, um, it keeps coming up about, you know, should we sell our home right now? Is timing right? I don't want to maybe list during the holidays or do, people aren't listing right now or is the market, you know, is a good time to list. So here's a couple of things. I've got 11 reasons why it's good to list your home right now during the holidays. The first one I wrote down is, you gotta understand this, that uh, people who look during the holiday season are more serious buyers. I mean, if people are coming out right now during this time of year looking to buy, this means they're serious. There may not be as much um, you know, quantity, but the quality of the buyer you're working with right now this time of year is a serious buyer. Number two, I wrote down here, serious buyers have actually fewer homes on the market to choose from during the holiday season, and uh, which is less competition, which means more money for you if you're looking to sell. So we've just gone through the spring selling season, the summer selling season, and in the fall selling season, it's been very, very strong. In fact, this month so far, my team and I have already sold 11 listings one of which actually uh, currently right now has two competing offers on it as we speak. Actually, two of them have two offers competing in as we speak. So lower inventory right now means higher price. That's what's going on. Number three, um, wrote down here, since the supply of listings will dramatically increase in the month of January. Think, think of this. Everyone else is doing the same thing. Oh, I'm going to keep the home off the market because of the holiday season. Then what happens in January? Everyone puts them on the market. So the, the inventory and the supply increases dramatically, which therefore higher the supply, less price you get. Um, so I wrote here, there will be less demand for your particular home. This means less demand means less money for you. Number four, I wrote down, you know, how's the show better right now? I mean, if you're in a primary home market and you've got your, your home decorated for the holidays, um, and you know, you've got candles burning and so forth. So you gotta understand buyers buy on emotion and this time of year, it's very emotional for people. So they buy on emotion. So why not take advantage of this time of year with everything that's going on decoration in the holiday season. Uh, number six, I wrote down, um, uh, well actually led, led into it. You know, buyers are more emotional during holidays. Uh, so they're more likely to pay a higher price because of that. Um, so no, actually that was number five. Number six, buyers have more time to look for a home during the holiday season than they do during a normal work week because there's gonna be more days off. They have more time to do it now than they typically would uh, during a normal week. See, so number seven um, says here that uh, many buyers today have to buy before the end of the year because of tax reasons. In fact, one of our sellers right now just went under contract. They're buying another property closing by the end of the year. His accountant told him, Go ahead and sell the property that they're, they're looking to sell for at a certain price because he's making it the difference in making the deal happen on the next one and told him to, to make it all work this type of year if he can make it happen in the next 45 days. So tax reasons. Uh, number eight. See, so January is traditionally the month when employees begin new jobs. So if someone's getting transferred in, let's say it's a primary home, getting transferred in, a lot of times they can't wait till the spring. They come in and start their new jobs in January. So a lot of the, you know, again, if, you're, if your goal is to wait, I mean, you wait till the spring, but you're missing again another big portion of buyers that uh, need to get in. Number nine, I said, look, you still can be on the market right now. And if the holiday season, if, you, if it's because you want to restrict the number of showings because of what's going on, um, then restrict the number of showings to just a, a few days a week, whichever it may be. Number 10, I said, you know, you can sell now for more money. And if you don't want to close now, no problem. Then we just... Sell for more money now, provide a delayed closing and extend it into next year, okay? Um, and then lastly, I wrote down number 11, by selling now, you may have an opportunity to be a non-contingent buyer if you're looking to buy and then give you plenty of time to sell now, push the closing date out and then make a purchase in the say spring when more inventory comes on. You certainly can do that. See, many more houses will be in the market then and actually because more homes will be on the market, and uh, because of more homes, there'll be less price. Therefore, it's a better time for you to buy then. So think about that as well. Um, so anyway, selling your home right now allows you to sell high and buy low in case you're in that market. Any questions you have, if you want a, uh, a no obligation free market analysis about your home, which you can get for it right now, call me. Um, we'd love to be able to share that with you, with you or email this back. If you think this has been helpful, please go ahead and forward it to someone else you know that wants to buy, sell, or invest. As always, we look forward to our conversation being the best of your day. Thanks for watching.